Greetings everyone, Sir Morgan here from the Technical Department. From the topic isometric projection, you will draw your isometric exercise to the given dimensions now on your right. You will first draw an isometric rectangle as shown. To begin, draw a horizontal baseline using your T-square. Now draw an isometric rectangle as shown to the given dimensions. Remember to use your T-square in combination with your Z-square. Next, you will make measurement in order to get the line that is to be here. Measure and identify 10 millimeters from the end of this line. Now with the use of your set square along with your T-square, draw a line from the point you just identified. Now based on your given drawing, you now need to measure and identify 10 millimeters from this point. Also measure and identify 10 millimeters from the other end of the line. Now use your set square along with your T-square to draw vertical lines from the points you previously identified to intersect with the line above these points. Now from this point to this direction, you need to draw a line using your set square along with your T-square. In order for you to get the rectangle that is to be here, you first need to measure and identify 20 millimeters on this line from this point. And also from the other end of the line, measure and identify 20 millimeters too. Now use your T-square along with your Z-square and draw two horizontal lines from the points you previously identified. Remember to draw construction lines thin and light. Now before you can draw the lines that are to be here and also here, you must first measure and identify 10 millimeters from the start of this line. From the other end of the line, also measure and identify 10 millimeters. Now use your set square along with your T-square and draw these two horizontal lines. Remember, construction lines are thin and light. Excellent! Now go ahead and outline your isometric projection. Now this join wasn't so hard after all. Border your paper and complete your title block. 